Hello everyone. Today, after you read your reading passage on Charles Darwin and answer the comprehension questions, you're going to have a racist response to an open-ended question. So you're going to use the racist format to help you, not to help you, but to guide you through answering the question. Okay, so what you'll do, let me read the instructions to you. It says, read the following excerpt from the text, then respond to the open-ended question following the prompts for the races format. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to read this passage here, okay, from right here to right here, and you're going to use that information to help answer this question. The question is, what did Charles Darwin believe about certain animals being better able to survive in nature. Explain and support your answer. So what we're doing is we're looking, we're looking at this excerpt. An excerpt is a part of a passage, just one piece of it. Okay, and we are going to answer the question using the racist format. Now I've tried to make things a little bit easier for you since you're working at home and I'm not there to answer questions. So I have outlined the five steps of the racist format. Now we've done this throughout the year for since early in the year, maybe since December, we've been answering in the racist format. So I've made things a little bit easier for you. So if you look here, I've restated it for you. All you need to do is select this as your answer to get credit for that question. Okay. So what did Charles Darwin believe about certain animals being better able to survive in nature? Charles Darwin believed that some animals were better able to survive in nature. Okay, I'm basically taking a lot of these words, turning it from a question to a statement. What did Charles Darwin believe about certain animals being better able to survive in nature? Charles Darwin believed that some animals were better able to survive in nature. I basically took most of these words and restated it. That's what a restate is. You're taking the words to sort of give yourself a main idea sentence. Now, you're going to answer, what did Charles Darwin realize or what did he believe about why these animals were better able to survive? Okay, Darwin realized that. And then in your own words, summarize from the text, from this excerpt, Okay, what did he realize about why some, some animals were better able to survive in nature than others? Okay, then you need to cite evidence, okay? When we're citing evidence, we're taking a sentence from the text and we are copying it. We're allowed to copy it only for this part because we're gonna use quotation marks. We're going to put in quotation marks the exact sentence that proves our answer. Okay, so when you answer, you answer in your own words, and when you cite evidence, you copy a sentence from the text. Then when you explain a good phrase to begin, okay, an evidence strand to help you begin is this evidence proves that. Okay, you are citing evidence, you're giving proof from the text in the author's words. And then in your words, you're saying this evidence proves that. And you're in your own words telling me what does the evidence prove about your answer? How does it support your answer? And then finally, the S stands for sum it up. And you can begin that a few ways. You can say to sum things up, or you can say, in conclusion, and when you're summing things up, you're saying in conclusion, and you're basically going back to your main idea sentence or your restate, and you're saying it in a different way. You're concluding your answer, you're wrapping it up, you're putting a bow on top of your paragraph. Okay, so these are the five steps to the racist format. Of course, many of you have been doing a really great job with this and are able to expand. So do what you're capable of. Okay, type as much as you feel necessary to give yourself the best answer. Okay, some of these say short answer, so I'll say long answer just to give you, well, I'll change that after the video, but just to give you as much space as you need. All right, so that is it for this. Um, 
I hope that you enjoy it. And I look forward to reading your responses. Okay, have a great day.